You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. We get to chat about music. Real music, like in person, live, <laughs> real people singing. I'm excited about that. Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin for supporting The Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. Live Uncommon. Joining us today, the Reverend Dr. Jim Marriott, Director of Music Arts and the Craft Chair for Music Arts at Concordia Seminary in St. Louis. Dr. Marriott, thanks so much for joining us on The Coffee Hour. It is always great to be with you guys. Thanks for the invitation. And alongside Dr. Marriott, one of the singers from La Damus, it's the, an ensemble from Concordia Seminary, Michael Wilkie. Michael, thanks so much for being our guest on The Coffee Hour today. Thank you very much for having me. It's a great pleasure. Now, Michael, share with us, uh, how long have you been or what year are you at Concordia Seminary? I am a fourth year seminarian, so I'll be uh, finishing up my MDiv studies this year. And I've been a part of the group here singing for the last three years, minus my vicarage year. Wow. So you've been singing the whole time. Were you a singer before you came to the seminary too? Did you sing in ensembles? I was. While I was in high school, I sang in uh, mixed choruses and things like that. And while I was at the United States Military Academy, I had the opportunity to sing in the Glee Club there. Nice. Wow. Dr. Marriott, tell us, who is La Damus? Yeah, so La Damus is the auditioned choir at Concordia Seminary, and it's a, a men's ensemble, and they are our touring ensemble. So we hold auditions at the beginning of the academic year and usually aim for about 12 singers. That's what we've had this year. And yeah, we, we tour throughout the nation, bring the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, to people through music. How is this a part of the pastoral formation that happens at the seminary? Yeah, so I often tease people that we don't, you know, music is not part of our curriculum at Concordia Seminary, but it permeates uh, almost everything that we do from our daily chapel services to uh, experiences we have in the classroom, talking about music and the way that music intersects theology. And so for our students who are in Ladamus, it's a wonderful opportunity to learn the truths of uh, the gospel uh, through the art of music. And that combination of theology and art is, is very profound for the students. And at the same time, you know, the opportunity to tour gives us the opportunity to build relationships with congregations throughout the United States. So staying in host homes and interacting with churches, meeting people. Sometimes we're going to congregations where students have served on vicarage, or we're going to congregations where they'll eventually be called. Now, no recruiting happens. You know, it's not like there's uh, anybody that's vying for a, a candidate and we go there on purpose. So it's not like that. But it is fun to be able to, to see we really are. Lodamus is the connection artistically with our local congregations. And the opportunity to tour gives us, gives the seminary a face in our churches throughout the United States. Michael, how is sacred music a valuable part of your pastoral formation? So that's a wonderful question because I think it's one of these things that we spend a lot of time talking about, the Lutheran legacy of music and of sacred music specifically, dating back all the way to the Reformation. That was one of the major changes that went on. And this is our opportunity not only to participate in that, but to be leaders in that and to learn what it is to lead in a context of worship and, and praise and really that's going to be one of the major functions that we're going to be doing is leadership within the church. It accompanies everything that we do in the word and sacrament ministries that we're getting trained and prepared for here on a daily basis. What have been some of your highlights of being in Laudamus over the last few years? What are some of those things that, that, that you really enjoyed being able to do? We have been absolutely blessed with some amazing tour locations. I remember very fondly two specifically. One, we stayed at the family farm of one of my best friends here in my class this year, Andrew Thompson. And so with his family, we actually spent the evening, had meals, got to hang out and really just get to know people. And that was wonderful. And then when we toured up to Michigan, my little brother, who was a Lutheran high school teacher at Valley Lutheran High School in Saginaw, Michigan, actually was able to be my host home for that <laughs> evening when we stayed over, overnight. 
what has been your favorite piece to sing in La Davos? I, I, <laughs> sorry, that's a dangerous question. <laughs> but yeah, what's been your favorite piece to sing, Michael? I would have to say we did a piece my second year called The Last Words of David. And the piece is absolutely beautiful. And in addition, uh, it gives Dr. Marriott the opportunity to really go to town on the organ because the accompaniment for that piece is just absolutely phenomenal. And we bring along with us our associate director who will actually conduct that particular piece so Dr. Marriott can accompany on the organ. So, Dr. Marriott, where are you headed for Ladamu's spring tour this year? Yeah, so we're going to Texas, which is really fun. <laughs> and actually, the the title of the or the theme of the tour this year is Gone Home. And uh, it's kind of multi-layered in its meaning because uh, Texas is home for me and for my family. And all of our extended family lives there. And uh, for Michael as well, Texas is home. And for some of the other members of our of our choir, it's home. So there's kind of a going home type mentality to this. But then we're also singing an arrangement of the spiritual, Sooner will be done with the troubles of the world, gone home to live with God. And it's a really stirring arrangement that for me kind of brings together a lot of what we've endured the last couple of years. And um, looking past the sufferings of this world and looking forward to the redemption that has been won for us through Jesus Christ. So, so we're going to Texas and we're going home and uh, we're excited about uh, the opportunity to uh, kind of have a homecoming in a number of different ways with this tour. So we'll be in Oklahoma first, the Tulsa area, and then Edmond, Oklahoma, and then we'll be in Flower Mound, Texas. That's my home congregation. And then we'll be, and that's in the Dallas area. Uh, and then we will be at uh, Trinity in Klein. Texas, which is in the Houston area. And we're hoping to sing at a few Lutheran schools as well. I know for sure we're looking to sing at uh, Lutheran High South in Houston, and we're hoping to add some of the other Lutheran schools as well as we, as we round out the tour. So what are the dates for all of these uh, locations so our listeners can mark, our, mark the calendars right now? For sure. So it's Saturday, March 19th through Wednesday, March 23rd. And the, the precise dates for all of the different individual concerts uh, you can find on our website, csl.edu slash uh, concert series. You'll be able to see Ladamus there. Uh, and then we also have a home concert uh, here in St. Louis at Hope Lutheran on Sunday, April 3rd at 4 p.m. And we have been trying to do a concert at Hope Lutheran for a number of years now. And, you know, the pandemic has kind of uh, slowed that down. So we're very excited to be able to sing our home concert at Hope Lutheran on Neo Show. Just a beautiful space, newly renovated with a newly renovated mm -hmm. organ and a lovely place to sing. So we're excited to be there. Cantor Matt Jansen is a good friend and we're thankful for his hospitality. Yeah, that's going to be, it sounds, sounds like it's going to be a, a great tour, great locations. Now tell me a little bit more about the music you mentioned, the spiritual, what else is uh, on the lineup for the music that you're going to be able to sing? You know, this is one of my favorite things about Ladamus is that we, we sing a very diverse program. So we love singing uh, kind of early music, music around the uh, Renaissance or Reformation time. So we've got a couple of pieces from that time period a couple that are in Latin even. So that's fun to be able to sing in different languages. And then we've got some romantic pieces, a fare piece, and then we're doing uh, some modern pieces as well. We've got this new setting of Gone Home, the Suno Will Be Done spiritual. And then we always sing this um, setting of Were You There by Ryan Meyer. It was written for our choir a few years ago, and uh, we love singing that. And then we also sing some old Lutheran classics like In So Lord Jesus Quickly Come and the F. Melius Chris Johnson, Beautiful Savior. So there's really something for everybody in these concerts. And it's really, it's very fun to have a well-rounded musical program so that even Michael Wilkie is happy with some of the music selections. <laughs> uh, you know, and, and, and the guys, they do love to, to, you know, kind of tease me a little bit when it's not their favorite song. But then we get around and, and it is one of their favorite songs. So we're, we're, we're glad for the balance. <laughs> Speaking of favorite songs, I'm really curious what foray you're doing. Cause that yeah, is yeah. <laughs> it's the Cantique de Jean Rossi, oh, yes. uh, which is very beautiful. And it's, it's a, it's a beautiful choir piece that has been adapted mm -hmm. by Kaylee Scott for men's voices. And 
we're yeah, we love singing that. We're going to try to sing it in French too. Michael's French is much better than mine, so he's our French coach for for pronunciation. That's been fun. So. Awesome. Michael, what have you enjoyed about the the pieces and the preparation for tour this year? Well, the first thing that's kind of top of my mind awareness all the time right now is that this is my opportunity to go home. Like Dr. Marriott's, mm -hmm. I am just incredibly excited. This is the congregation. One of the, the congregations is literally the people who've raised me and who have helped me through my time here at the seminary financially with prayer and, and just as supporters. And so that's a wonderful and exciting thing. But just the... The, the, the diversity of the music that we're doing this year, like Dr. Marriott said, as well as the dynamics of the, it seems like every year that I've been in the choir, the group dynamic has just improved and improved and improved. Not to say that it wasn't great when we started my first year, but it's just, it, it seems to get better with age and it's, it's wonderful. And we have a really strong fourth year class, guys who really enjoy singing together and who've comes from wonderful and amazing uh, musical backgrounds. And so getting to work with them every day is an absolute honor and a privilege. Um, and whatever song it is that we're doing as a part of our, our set, someone is able to showcase the amazing talents um, that they've been given by God and that they've worked incredibly hard to cultivate. Dr. Marriott, how can we uh, find out more about the spring tour and stay up on what's uh, going on with Ladamos? Yeah, so our seminary website, csl.edu, has links to all of our musical offerings at the seminary, including more information on Ladamos and our tour. We also have a very robust concert series. We just had a hymn festival on Sunday, an Epiphany Hymn Festival with Stephen Starkey as the guest commentator. That was beautiful and have some other programs coming up this spring as well. So we do invite the listeners to come and attend all of these concerts. And we're very glad to be able to live many of them that happen at Concordia Seminary. And that's lovely too, to have people joining us from all over the world. We just today uh, had an after chapel concert. Uh, Hannah Lanning was playing the harp. And we know that we had mm -hmm. people watching really from uh, all over and supporting her. So that was, it's very lovely to be able to do that. So uh, csl.edu, I think it's slash concert series or slash music should be able to get you the information that you're looking for. Very good. Our guest today, the Reverend Dr. Jim Marriott, Director of Music Arts and the Craft Chair for Music Arts at Concordia Seminary St. Louis. Dr. Marriott, thanks so much for joining us on the Coffee Hour. It's always great to be with you guys. Thanks for the opportunity. And Michael Wilkie, student and member of La Damas at Concordia Seminary. Michael, thanks so much for being our guest on the Coffee Hour. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. You've been listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Oh, 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 oh